Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello. Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, Jose. Good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Is everything okay? I agree, okay. Okay, that's nice. How was your day? How was your day today? Was it busy? Was it relaxing? Interesting? Very happy? How was your day? Very happy and stressing in my work. Okay. Nice. It was nice. Yesterday we were learning about going to, right? So do you remember the vocabulary that we studied yesterday about birthday parties? Which vocabulary do you remember? Do you remember any vocabulary about yesterday class? Dulces, for example, how do you say dulces? Candy. Candies. Yeah. Candy. How do you say piñata in English? Piñata. Uh, yes. And how do you say comida? Oh. Food. That's an easy oh, one, right? Yeah. And also yesterday we studied the question, what are you going to do? for your next birthday party what are you going to do so do you remember what is the answer for that question what are you going to do for your next birthday party i remember i going to have a party in my house yard and i going to decorate and going to buy some buns I'm going to be a cake. That's ten. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, that's excellent. Very good. So today we're going to start um, taking a look of the platform exercises. By the way, eh, ¿cómo van en la plataforma? ¿Ya avanzaron? ¿Ya avanzaron? Digo en la dos. Digo en la uno porque lo quise hacer en el trabajo, pero... Me bloquearon por abrirlo en otro dispositivo y llamé a inglés corporativo y me mandaron a, para desbloquear, la desbloqueé, pero me dijeron en media hora lo hice, pero me volvieron a bloquear, así que estoy bloqueada otra vez. Ah, ok, then you have to follow the process again. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Así que me decía que ahí me desbloqueó y me volvió a bloquear. I'm sorry to hear that. But, uh, va a tener que hacer el proceso de nuevo de escribir para que la desbloqueen de nuevo. Okay, so let's start with tonight's class. We are going to take a look of this. So just give me a second. I'm going to share this with you. I am sharing this web page with you. This is the platform actually. So What about this exercise? Did you complete this exercise? We had Michael, Kevin, Robert, and Jane in this part. So the instruction says, listen to the interview. What are these people going to do? So if you haven't done it yet, let's listen to this. Good evening. Can you listen? Can you listen to the audio? Yes, teacher. I can yeah. listen. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Before to listen, let's take a look at the question. Michelle is going to. So we have the option there. Begin, celebrate a birthday, meet a friend, and go shopping. Kevin is going to, and I have played video game, listen to music, go dancing, and go for a walk. Robert is going to, 
and we have the option read, we're at home, may I do print and work. And number four, Jane is going to go dancing, see a movie, go to a party, listen to music. So what are the plans of these people? Do you have any question about vocabulary? Let's see, for example, blueprint. What is the meaning of this? Do you have any idea? Any idea? Impresiones, láser. Okay, blueprint, son planos, planos. Los que hacen los ingenieros, arquitectos, that is a blueprint. Then if you don't have any other question, let's listen. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? It's Michelle. I bet you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to go to the video game arcade. Oh, so you're going to play video games. Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Yes, my name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And what's your name? I'm Jane. Do you have any plans for this evening? I just bought some new CDs, so I'm going to listen to music tonight. What kind of music is it? Jazz. I always listen to jazz. Okay, now Michelle is going to the gym, celebrate a birthday, meet a friend, or go shopping. What was your answer in this meet part? A, meet, meet a friend. Meet a friend. Okay, you just meet, meet, a friend. meet a friend. Let's see, Kevin. Kevin is going to... Play video, video games. Kevin is going to play video games. <laughs> now, Robert, Robert is going to Make work, 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 work at home. At home. Uh -huh. Work at home. Work at home. Work at home. And Jane is going to listen, listen to, to music. music. Jane is going to listen to music. <laughs> Okay, let's check it that you're right. Yes, you're right. Look at this. 33 points of 33 points. That was excellent. Very good in this part. Now, let's see. What time was the interview? ¿A qué horas fue la entrevista? What time? No remember. <laughs> okay, you don't remember. It says evening. He said evening. And what was the place? ¿Cuál fue el lugar? Do you remember the place? Okay, all those people were at the bus stop. Estaban en una parada de buses. So do you have any question about this exercise? No. No question. Then let's go with the other one in this in this section, section number one. Any volunteer to read the instruction in this exercise? Who wants to read the instruction? Any volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Juan. Can you please start? Complete the conversation with the correct form uh, of be going to follow the example. Thank you so much. So let's see, how are you going to spend your summer vacation? My parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. So we need to add going to, right? And the verb. So what was the answer in number one, conversation number one, the first oh, exercise? Are you going to? 
going to going to invite me invite oh, okay who are you going to invite is it correct in this way yeah yeah, yeah. let's go with the next one the next is i am going to i am going to, am going to ask yes let's see i'm going to ask we're going to check later and the other one what are you for halloween going to do what are you going to do, do. what are you going to do the next one i don't know i am, I am not, not going, going to, do. to do okay so i'm not going, going to, to do anything special conversation number three oh sorry it was conversation number two let's see conversation number three how are your parents are, are going to are you going to celebrate new year okay how are your parents going to celebrate new year's eve and the next they are going to go they are going to go to their neighbor's party yeah. They are going to go to the neighbor's party. Van a ir a la fiesta de los vecinos. Vecinos. Conversation number four. What is your what sister? What is your sister going to do? Okay. Going what is your do? sister going to do? Bill. For her birthday. And the, the last one, her boyfriend going to is going, going to, to take. take what is the form of the verb to be that we use is her is. boyfriend is going to take her out is. for to dinner okay let's see if you're right excellent 33 points of 33 points that's excellent very good any question in this part no, no question, no. no problems. And then we have the last exercise. Did you finish this exercise? We have to read, we have to read this. Elena Buenaventura, she is from? Where is she from? She is from Madrid. She is from Madrid. Any volunteer to read? Who wants to read? Elena Buenaventura Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday and I am going to go out with some friends to wish me happy birthday. They are going to pour on my ears 21 times. Once for as years, it is an old custom. Some people put on the ear, ah, use on, but my friends are very traditional. Thank you so much. Just once, just once, but my friends are very traditional. Okay, look at that custom. They are going to pull on my ear. 21 times 25 perdón 21 jalón de orejas practicarían esta tradición lo hacemos tradición en el salvador no en el salvador en el salvador son malteadas son, malteada. mal, son malteadas verdad Okay, now the question about this reading. To celebrate her birthday, Elena's friend are going to pull her ear 21 times. True. Is it true, true or false? True. 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 Okay, that is true. 21 jalones de oreja. Pobrecito los que llegan a 100 años. <laughs> Deben de sufrir bastante. Okay, now I have Jan Chin Shi from Taipei. 
Any volunteer to read? Any Me teacher. To... Thank you so much, man. Yang uh, Chi Taipei. Tomorrow in my 16th birthday is a special birthday. So we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in Lucky and buy loans from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Thank you so much. Any new vocabulary in this small paragraph? Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday. So we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in Lucky and Bellot from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. What is the meaning of envelope? What is the meaning of this? Es Bye. como desarrollo, no. That is develop. Mm. Desarrollar, develop. Okay. In this case, es el sobrecito. ¿verdad? Lucky envelope son sobrecitos con mensajes de buena suerte. Y adentro llevan money, money, money. So, noodles. What is the meaning of noodles? Noodles. Eh, fideos. 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 Ok. Thank you so much. So, para sus cumpleaños, ¿piden regalo tradicional o de sobre? Como Yan Ching Shi. Sobre, sobre. De sobre. De sobre, ok. Money, money. Ok, money. Now let's go with the question. Ah, vaya, ya vamos a empezar a decorar wow. los sobres. Ok. Yan Ching. Yan Chin is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. Is it true or false? False. False. It's false, right? So the answer is false. Easy or difficult? Let's go with the next exercise. We are going to read about Mr. and Miss Aoki. They are from Kyoto. Where is Kyoto? Is it China, Japan, Korea? What is Kyoto? Japan. Ah, Japan. Japan. It's Japan. Kyoto is from Japan. Very good. Any volunteer to read this small paragraph? Who went to practice? Me, teacher. Thank you so much, Carmen. Uh, Mr. and Miss and Mr. Aoki. My husband is going to be uh, six, 60 tomorrow in Japan. The 60th birthday is called Kan Kaneki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are what are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Okay, thank you so much. Now let's see. Sixties are the beginning of a new life. That's excellent. Okay, now let's see what is the color that represents a new life in Japan, or at least in Kyoto. Red. The color red. Now let's go with the question. What's the question in this exercise? On his birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to receive something red. True or false? True. True. Okay, let's go. Oh, this is true, this true. is the last one. This is the last one. Oh, I didn't choose the answer. You just tell me true, right? True. You told me true. Now let's go with Philip Jolly. He's from Paris. Anybody wants to travel to Paris to visit the Eiffel Tower? Nobody wants to travel to Europe, to Paris, France.
Okay. Any volunteer to read this small paragraph? Any volunteer? Just one. Me, teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to be 20, no, 30 next week. So I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In friends, in, when you have a birthday, you often, often invite people out. In some country, I know, I know it's it the opposite, opposite people take you out. Okay, thank you so much. Now here, the person who is celebrating his or her birthday has the obligation to invite the other people, but here is different, right? Other people invite the person who is celebrating his or her birthday. Opposite. I know it's the opposite. People take you out. But not in Paris, right? Not in France. El que cumple años es el que paga todo. That's great. ¿Podemos adoptar eso también? <laughs> no. No, <laughs> tampoco no. <laughs> no. Tampoco. The Philips si no es mi cumpleaños. Sí. Pero hay gente que lo hace. Okay. Que me inviten, que me inviten. <risa> yo, yo trabajo en organización de eventos y hay personas que lo llegan a hacer y es como que wow, digo eso. <risa> ok, pero qué malos amigos. ¿no? <risa> qué malos amigos también. Ok, Philip friends are going to take him out to dinner on his birthday. True or false? False. That's false. Oh. Let's see. Let's check the answer. Excellent. 34 of 34 points. How oh, you are doing great. Bueno, si, ya, si no lo habían hecho todavía, espero que se acuerden de toda la respuesta. Y si ya lo habían hecho, pues nada, qué fácil estaba eso. Let's go with the next. Okay, today we are going to start section number two. In section number two, we are going to start studying the body parts. Do you remember about the body parts? Recuerdan vocabulario acerca de acerca de las partes del cuerpo. Yes. Yes. Yeah. For example, leg, neck, um, finger. Eh, eh. No. No. Solo ese me acuerdo. Ears, mouth, lips, eyes, nose, chest, feet, elbows, shoulders. I can see that you remember a lot of body parts. Let's go up to the shelf. I think you said feet. And the topic for today is the matter. What's the matter? What's the meaning of this question? Ya la habían escuchado. What's the meaning of this question? What's the matter? What's wrong? What's the matter? Teacher, no sé si es mi micro, mi, mi internet, pero no se escucha bien. Sí, se escucha bien entrecortado, Rick. Okay, what about now? Is that? Creo que hay interferencia. No escucho. Quizás es el inter. It could be. Now, can you listen? Yes, pero está cortado, teacher. Sí, se escucha como entrecortado, Luis. Let's try again. Is it set? Well, now. Oh, 
aún persiste por deja. Teacher se escucha bien mal. Y no se le escucha bien, se le escucha entrecortado. No se entiende nada. Hello, now can you listen? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, probably my headset wasn't working very good. Okay, so now uh, I was telling you that this is the topic for tonight. What's the matter? We are going to study this. This question means, ¿cuál es el problema? So let's start with this. In this lesson, or by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing parts of the body. And also you are going to learn how to use have plus noun and feel plus objective to express health problems. So here we go, guys. Let's start with these body parts. Any volunteer to read the first one? This one, please. Hell, I, ear, nose, nose. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let's start these body parts. Head, what is the next one? Hell, I, I. Yes, nose. 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 Okay, the next square. What is in the next square? Back. 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 Shoulder. Shoulder. Head. Head. Back. Head. Shoulder. Chest. Stomach. 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 Okay, the next one has thumb. Thumb. Um, and finger. Finger. Thank you so much. Then in the other one we have leg. 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 Ankle. Leg and ankle. And then in X we have mouth. Two. 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 Teeth. Teeth. And Two. also. Teeth. Chin. 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 And then X we have grease. Arm, wrist, arm, arm yeah, elbow. Elbow. Neck. 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 Foot. Feet. Foot. Feet. Foot. Feet. Toe. Toe. Okay. Any word that you don't know in this vocabulary? New vocabulary, what is the meaning of I, for example? What's the meaning of eyes? Oh. Yes, my shoulder, what's the meaning of shoulder? El, no, no sé cómo se llama. El What's the meaning? Yo me lo toco, me lo toco y no me acuerdo. <laughs> What's the meaning of Greece? Greece? Muñeca. Mano. Antebrazo. Muñeca, ¿verdad? La muñeca. Uh -huh. Greece es la muñeca. Arm es brazo. En elbow. What's the meaning of elbow? El Codo. Codo. Muy bien. Codo. Uh -huh. What about leg? Pierna. Pierna. Mouth. Mouth. Boca. Okay, that's excellent. Very good. So, do you have any problem with this vocabulary? No, then let's go with the next. Don't forget about this body part. Let's see this. This is my head. We use this and also this to talk about our body part. This is my head. These are my eyes. This is my chest. These are my shoulders. This is my nose. These are my fingers. This is my mouth. These are my elbows. This is my neck. This is my neck. Any volunteer to read the first three sentences? 
who wants? Who wants to participate? Me, Thank you, Edma. This is my hair. This is, these are my eyes. This is my chest. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer to read the other three sentences, please? Me, teacher. Thank you, Carmen. Uh, these are my shoulders. This is my nose. This is, these are my fingers. Thank you so much. And the last three sentences. This is, this is my mom. There, these are my elbows. He is my neck. This is my neck. neck. This is my neck. Thank you so much. Now look at this. Si es singular, if it is singular, we are going to use this is. If it is plural, like eyes, shoulders, fingers and elbows, we are going to use these are. And if it is singular, like head, chest, nose, mouth, and neck, we are going to use this. Any question in this part? No question. Then let's go with the next exercise. We're going to practice a little bit in this part. Say the correct body part. I smell with my I smell with my nose. Yes, you're right. I smell with my nose. Let's go with the second one. I touch with my finger. 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 Fingers. Or we can say uh, hands. Hands. I taste with my mouth. With my mouth. Oh, you are kind of right, right? With my tongue. Tongue. With my tongue. I have five in my hand. Finger. Fingers. Okay, now it's fingers, the answer. I have five fingers in my hand. I chew with my... I chew with my... What is the meaning of the bear? I chew with my mouth. Mouth. With my teeth. Yo mastico no. con this. This, this, this. I hear with my hmm. Hi. Ears. 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 And I have five in my food. Toes. Oh. Toes, yes. Oh. And the last one I see with my eyes. Eyes. My eyes. Any volunteer to read the first sentence? Oh, sometimes in my mouth. Oh, okay, any volunteers? Let's go with. Karen, can you please? Karen Lobo, can you please read the first one, two, and three, please? Hello, Karen, can you help me, please? Sentence Be one, sure. two, three. Yes? Hi. Hello. I repeat, teacher. Please. Can you read the sentence number one, two, and three, please? Any volunteer? I smell with my nose. I touch with my hands. I taste with my tongue. 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 Yes, thank you. The next three sentences, number four, number five, and number six. Any volunteer to read those sentences? Me, teacher. Thank you, Byron. I, I have five fingers in my hand. I chew with my teeth. I hear with my ears. Thank you so much. And the last two, Karen, can you help me, please? I have five toys. In, in my tooth, 
I see with my eyes. Thank you so much. With my, with my eyes. I see with my eyes. My eyes. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next things here. Common illnesses. ¿Ya han padecido de alguna de estas enfermedades? Enfermedades comunes. Yes. 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 Which one, for example? Flu. 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 Arrush. Arrush. Vomit. 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 Stomach. Rash. Rash. Those are very common, right? A cold. Un resfriado. A todos nos ha dado un refinado más de alguna vez. De flu, la gripe. A la que más miedo le tenemos ahorita, ¿verdad? De flu. Headache, headache. Headache. Diarre. Ese es todos los días, Ticha. Headache. Dolor de cabeza. De cabeza. Toothache. Toothache. No hay nada más terrible que uno de esos, ¿verdad? A toothache. De muelas. Un dolor de muelas. Fever. Fiebre. Fiebre. Cough. Fiebre. Cough. Cough. Es es. <coughs> What is that? Cough. Tos. 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 Muy bien. And a rush. Rush. It's like alergia, ¿verdad? Yeah. Eh, broken arm. Ya se han roto un brazo. Broken arm. No. No. No, no, no. No, no. No, okay. And stomach ache. Stomach ache. Y alguna vez. Ear age. Ear age. Ya les han dolido los oídos. Ear age. The next one is backache. Backache. Dolor de espalda. Siempre lo ando ahí, sí. teacher. Backache. Siempre. Siempre. Yes, diarrhea. We have diarrhea, vomit, sore throat, e infección en la garganta, sore shoulder, dolor en los hombros, and a broken leg. ¿Alguien se ha roto una pierna? No, no really. No. Ok, now let's see. A cold, the flu, a headache, a toothache, a fever, a cough, a rash, a broken arm, stomach ache, an earache, backache, diarrhea, vomit, sore throat, sore shoulder, in a broken leg. So don't forget about this vocabulary because we are going to use it later. Now let's go with this a small conversation here. It's a, conver a conversation between Brian and Kenichi. So where are they? Look at the picture and tell me where are they? Where do you think they are? ¿Dónde está el supermarket, teacher? They are, they are in the supermarket. Very good. They are, they are. ¿Cómo luce el chico de camisa celeste? Happy, sad, angry. Sad. 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 He looks sad. So let's read this small conversation. Brian said, hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Ryan. I feel better already. So what's happened? 
¿Alguna vez se han sentido así? Have you ever felt homesick? ¿Ya han sentido nostalgia cuando están lejos de su casa, de su familia? Sí. Yes, that is homesick, right? That is homesick. Yes. Nostalgia. Yes, that is homesick. Any new vocabulary in this small conversation? Teacher, una consulta. Yeah. Eh, ¿por, qué es, ¿Por qué se utiliza el matter y no el problem? Is the expression right? What's the matter? Eh, cuando queremos preguntar, ¿qué te sucede? ¿verdad? ¿Qué te pasa? Then we use this expression. Tenemos dos opciones. We can use what's the matter and what's wrong. Podemos utilizar esas dos. Para preguntarle a alguien, ¿qué le sucede? Cuando usted ve a alguien que está mal. Then you say, what's the matter? What's wrong? En what's the problem es más como de un problema. ¿no? ¿Cuál es el problema con esa computadora? En este caso, what's the matter? ¿Qué le pasa a esa persona? What's the matter? What's wrong? Any other question? Teacher. Yes. Hola. En este caso sería como para dirigirse a personas. Así es, a una persona, ¿verdad? ¿Qué te sucede? ¿Qué te pasa? Cuando alguien sí. le dice que está mal, ¿verdad? Inmediatamente nosotros decimos, ¿qué te pasa? ¿Cuál es el problema? So, that is the same in English. We use this expression. What's the matter? What's wrong? Any other question? What about this expression? But maybe I can help. What's the meaning of that expression? Any idea? Quizás tú tengas gripe o oh, oh, that is maybe you have the flu. Quizás, ¿verdad? Podría ser. Podría ser que usted tenga gripe. Que tú tengas gripe. I need to volunteer in this small conversation. Who wants to practice? Any volunteer? Nobody Me. wants to practice. Me. Tell me your name, please. Um, Blanca? Okay, Blanca. Now I yeah. can see. Yeah, yeah. Blanca, and <laughs> any other volunteer? Who wants to practice? Me teacher. Me teacher. Thank you, Juan. So, Juan, you are Brian. And Blanca, you are Kenichi. Can you start, please? Okay. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I am not so good actually. Actually? Why? What the, why? What the matter? Well, I have a uh, help. Ay, no puedo pronunciarlo, teacher. Headache. Headache. Headache and um, back ache. Back ache. Back ache. Back ache. Back ache. Back ache. Yes, back yes? Maybe, maybe you have a flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let us have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great, a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Okay, thank you so much. That was a very good job. Just the words, actually. Oh, I'm not so good, actually. En realidad, that's what significa en realidad. Oh, no estoy tan bien en realidad. I'm not so good, actually. And the other word was homesick. Homesick. And the other one is idea. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. So thank you so much, eh, Blanca. Thank you so much, Juan. Let's go with the next. 
how are you and how do you feel? I have here some example of how to answer these two questions. We can use this answer for how are you? I'm fine, I'm great, I'm terrific, I'm fantastic. I'm fantastic. Estoy bien, estoy grandioso, estoy muy bien. Me siento fantástico. I'm fantastic. ¿Qué sucede si nos sentimos mal? Then we can use this other option. I'm sick. I'm awful. I'm terrible. I'm miserable. So, what's the meaning of awful? It's very bad. I'm very bad. I'm awful. Me siento muy mal. I'm terrible. Me estoy terrible, me siento terrible. Y el otro es otro nivel, ¿verdad? I'm miserable. Me, sería muy mal, I'm miserable. Then I have this other option, how do you feel? How are you? Or how do you feel? We can use both questions para preguntarle a alguien cómo se siente, cómo está, cómo se siente. How are you? How do you feel? I feel great. I feel fantastic. How do you feel? I feel great. I feel fantastic. Si usted se siente mal, usted puede utilizar cualquiera de estas opciones. I don't feel well. I feel sick. I feel terrible. I feel miserable. Si uno de sus amigos le dice, I don't feel well. ¿Cuál es la siguiente pregunta que usted le hace? What's the matter? What happened? Okay. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's wrong? Veamos esas preguntas también. Teacher, I don't feel good is correct. I don't feel good. Yes, we can use that option too. I don't feel good. Okay. No me siento bien. Or I don't feel well. Now, la siguiente pregunta es, what's the matter? What's wrong? Eso le preguntamos a alguien cuando nos dice que se siente mal. What's the matter? What's wrong? So, we are going to use the verb have to answer this question. Well, I have a headache and a backache. I have a cold. I have the flu. I have a stomach ache. Or we can use the verb feel. I feel this. I feel homesick. I don't feel good. I feel sick. So we use this to answer the question, what's the matter? What's wrong? Any question in this part? Do you have any question? No question. Then let's practice. Look at this small conversation. Conversation number one. Hi, how are you? I'm awful. What's the matter? I have a stomachache and diarrhea. Está grave. <laughs> Hello, how do you feel? I don't feel well. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache and I feel dizzy. It's, I need to volunteer to practice in the first conversation. Any volunteer? If not, I'm going to choose somebody. Me? Alejandra and any volunteer tonight? I know that it's Thursday, but help me, please. Alejandra and Edma. And Edma, thank you so much. Alejandra, can you please start? Hi, how are you? I am. A mí me toca con. I am. ¿Cómo cómo dijo esta chica? Perdón. Awful. I'm awful. I'm awful. Oh. What the matter? I have a stomach and diarrhea. <laughs> no puedo decir Dear. esto. Dear. Stomach. 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 
I have a stomach ache in diarrhea. Stomach ache in diarrhea. 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 <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Any other volunteers to practice in the second conversation? Me, teacher. Thank you, Byron. Byron and? Teacher, Carla. Okay, thank you, Carla. Byron and Carla in the second conversation. Go ahead, do it. Hello, how do you feel? I don't feel well. What's wrong? I have a terribly, terrible heart Head and feel head and feel dizzy. Headache. Headache and I feel dizzy. Thank you so much. I have a terrible headache and I feel dizzy. Headache. Ache. Esa es la pronunciación de ese H, ¿verdad? Dice stomach ache, headache. Stomach ache, headache, tooth ache, back ache. Okay, thank you so much for your help. Let's see this. Just a second. So we are going to listen this, uh, this example. So let me know if you can listen. Can you listen? Bueno, no, ¿No escucharon no, el audio? No. No. Ok, let's try again. Listening. I have a headache. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? Write down the parts of the body. One. I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. Two. Ow! Oh my gosh, are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah, thanks for your help. Three. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Ouch. Four. Oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes, and my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. Okay, now what's the problem? What, sorry, what's the matter? What's the matter with Ben? What's the matter with Ben? In the first conversation, what's the matter with Ben? Hello? He have a cool uh, and head chin. Uh, I have the problem, the pronunciation teacher. Head chin, head? Headache? Headache. 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 And throat. Okay, so throat. Throat. Uh, so, sería, he oh. has, that in third person, he has a cold, he has a headache, and he has a sore throat. Thank you, Juan. Very good try. Thank you so much. Now, what's the matter with Allison in the second conversation? What's the matter with Allison? What happened with her back and elbow? Hello? 
Her back in her elbow feel terrible. ¿Qué le pasó a Allison? No sé que se cayó. Su espalda y su... Su codo. Se rompió. Se rompió. No, se golpeó. My back y el codo. Sienten terrible dolor. Muy bien. Se siente mal, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, su espalda, back and elbow. Se cayó, ¿verdad? Al parecer de unas gradas, de acuerdo al listening. And what's the matter with Jeffrey? What's the matter with Jeffrey? What's the he has, he, he has a problem with the heat. Ah, okay, excellent. He has a toothache. He has a toothache. He has a toothache. And the last one, what's the matter with Martha? Sore eyes. What's the meaning of that? Sore eyes. Look, look. She has. She has sore eyes. And her grips are sore too. Lo que sienten ahorita, verdad? Porque ya tienen sueño y han estado viendo su pantalla. Sore eyes. Sore eyes. Y también ya sentía dolor en sus muñecas. De tanto estar escribiendo, al parecer. So, finish typing your homework later. Termine de digitar su tarea después. Just to finish the class, let's go with the next thing. Match the problem with the advice. We are going to match the problem with the advice. I have a terrible headache. ¿Cuál sería un buen consejo? Don't eat so much. No coma mucho. Don't put your finger in your ear. No ponga su dedo dentro de su oreja. Take some aspirin. Tome uh, alguna aspirina. Go to the dentist. Take off your shoes. Quítese los zapatos. Get a message. ¿Cuál sería un buen consejo para ese padecimiento? I have a terrible headache. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Taste on aspirin. Thank you. My back hurts. Me duele la espalda. My back hurts. What is a good advice? Letter F. Letter F. Get Letter a message. Letter F. Get a message. And my feet are. My feet are hurting me. Take off, off your shoes. Take off your shoes. Bye. ¿A quién ya le ha tocado quitarse los zapatos a media fiesta porque le apretaban? ¿A nadie? So my feet are hurting me. Hay que aguantarme. Take off your shoes. Quítese los zapatos. No sufra. My stomach hurts often. My stomach hurts often. Hey, I think it fit. <laughs> don't eat Little so much. Eat, don't, don't eat, eat so, much. so much. Don't eat so much. Me el estómago me duele frecuentemente. Don't eat so much. Don't eat so much. Eat so much right? Bájale a las pupusas. Right? Don't eat so much. <laughs> I have an earache. I have an earache. Erase. Little bit. Don't put your finger in your ear. Okay, I have a your finger in your ear. Don't put your finger in your ear. And the last one, I have a toothache. I have a toothache. Little D, go to the dentist. Go to the dentist. No, I don't. Go to the dentist. Okay, guys, do you have any question about tonight class? Questions? Tomorrow we don't have classes. We are going to have classes until Monday, right? So okay. enjoy your weekend, enjoy your weekend. Uh, but don't forget about the platform exercises. Uh, remember that you have to complete section one and also section 
do during this mm -hmm. week. Tomorrow that we are not going to have classes, you can take advantage of that situation and you can, uh, let's see, you can solve some exercises on the platform. Tomorrow you can, you can use the time that you are using for this virtual session and work, and work on the platform. Así que mañana puede aprovechar la hora, ¿verdad? Que no tenemos clase y puede trabajar en la plataforma. Voy a estar pendiente. Si tiene alguna duda, me escribe al grupo de WhatsApp, please. If you have any doubt, any problem, don't hesitate to write to the WhatsApp group. I'm going to be happy to help. So enjoy your weekend. See you on Monday at 8 o'clock p.m. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye bye, bye. teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Teacher, yo le quería hacer una consulta. Dígame, José. Tell me. Eh, fíjese que yo, este, por motivos de trabajo, no pude ingresar eh, el día de, de lunes y martes a la clase. Se lo quería informar. Y ya no pude escribir porque igual no, no me quedó chance. Así que hasta ahora he tenido chance de, de poderme conectar. No sé si pasará asistencia o algo. Sí, aquí les voy tomando asistencia a los que están, pero no se preocupe, pero haga lo posible, ¿verdad? De no faltar a ninguna clase, si va a faltar, me avisa, por favor. Escríbanme ahí al WhatsApp personal o en el grupo que no va a poder asistir, ¿de acuerdo? De acuerdo, teacher. Gracias. Okay. Good night. Bye bye. Good night.